I'm, I'm the founder and, and director and intern of uh, an organization called the Free Network Foundation. And our mission is, is exactly to, to steward the emergence of a network that's owned and operated by the people that use it, or many networks that are owned and operated by those users. The essential idea is that we should build a network that's not controlled by any state, by any corporation. The internet that, the internet that we have today is a network of networks, and those individual networks that make up parts of the internet are, are run in almost every case, with, with very few exceptions. They do exist, but there are very few. In almost every case, are run either by a for-profit corporation or, or by a state, by a government. So what we've been talking about is coming up with a technology stack, a set of technologies that will allow us to build networks, autonomous systems as they're called in internet speak, uh, that are owned and operated by the people that use them, co-owning the physical layer of the network uh, as far as I'm concerned, is the only way that we'll ever really be free from corporate hegemony and, and, and the surveillance state. So, radios. It's the same technology that, that Marconi invented. Uh, we've, we've learned how to send data over radios, and what we want everybody to do is start operating a radio talking to their neighbors, and sharing information from neighbor to neighbor. The way the model works currently is that if, if, if you're sitting even in the same room as somebody else, and you want to send them a Facebook message, say, those packets pass, pass up a hierarchical network run by your internet service provider across some other networks, reach Facebook's internet service provider, then Facebook does some computation on those, on those bits and sends them all the way back down that same exact path except three feet over. So the idea in its conception is actually quite simple, which is, well, just send the packets directly to one another. Um, cut out the middleman and we, we have the technology. It, it needs some integration. It needs uh, a better interface, but the people here, geeks, hackers, we can do this. So it's just a matter of making it accessible. It's a matter of, of, of making it so that anybody can do it. And that's the idea b behind the, the freedom note or the freedom box is, is that uh, it would be something that somebody would take out of a box, plug into their wall, and it would start doing all of this. The situation now is that we've got this idea and everybody that we tell, you know, all the hackers that I talk to say, oh my god, that could work. That has a chance of, of being something really revolutionary. But it's going to take a lot of work to get there. It's a lot of work. I mean, Richard Stallman started the GNU project and it was years years and years, 10 years, before there was an operating system, before the Linux kernel was rolled out. So it's a long-term project. And I'm personally a little worried about like, finding a way to subsist while we work on it. But I know enough to know that this is it. This is, this is something worth doing. And you don't come across that very often, so I'm, I'm chasing it as hard as I can.